Hello everyone. Today, we're delving into the realm of a medication named Yaskarta. As always, our discussions are intended for educational insights. For any health-related concerns or inquiries, it's imperative to consult a medical professional. Yaskarta, also known as axicaptogene silalosal, is a groundbreaking CAR T-cell therapy. It's specifically designed for the treatment of certain types of non-Hodgkin lymphoma in adults, including diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, DLBCL, and primary mediastinal large B-cell lymphoma, PMBCL, after at least two other kinds of treatment have failed. Yaskarta is not a traditional pill or infusion, instead, it's a one-time treatment where a patient's T-cells are modified in a lab to fight cancer cells more effectively. Once modified, these cells are infused back into the patient, where they multiply and go to work attacking the cancer. Yaskarta comes with its set of warnings. The treatment can cause serious side effects, including cytokine release syndrome, CRS, and neurological toxicities, which can be life-threatening. It's crucial to be aware of these potential risks and to be under the care of a healthcare facility that is specially certified in the Risk Evaluation and Mitigation Strategy, REMS, for Yaskarta. Before undergoing Yaskarta treatment, patients should discuss their entire medical history with their healthcare provider. It's essential to inform the medical team if you have ever had a neurological or psychiatric condition, including seizures, confusion, or memory problems. Additionally, if you have had a recent or active infection, or if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant, it's crucial to let your healthcare provider know. Yaskarta can harm an unborn baby, and women should avoid becoming pregnant while undergoing treatment and for some time after. Men should also be cautious as Yaskarta can affect fertility. Like all treatments, Yaskarta has potential side effects. The most common ones include fever, fatigue, high or low blood pressure, fast or irregular heartbeat, difficulty breathing, and severe nausea. Additionally, there's a risk of infections, low blood cell counts, and a weakened immune system. It's essential to be vigilant and report any unusual symptoms to your healthcare provider immediately. Some side effects may occur days or even weeks after receiving Yaskarta, so continuous monitoring is crucial. Yaskarta may interact with other treatments or medications. Therefore, it's vital to inform your healthcare provider about all medications, supplements, and treatments you're currently undergoing or have recently undergone. Yaskarta is a one-time treatment, but the dosage and the process are unique. Your T-cells are collected and sent to a lab where they are modified to include a new gene. Once ready, these CAR T-cells are infused back into your body. The entire process, from cell collection to infusion, can take a few weeks. It's essential to follow your healthcare provider's instructions closely and attend all scheduled appointments. While undergoing Yaskarta treatment and recovery, it's advisable to avoid activities that may put you at risk, especially if you're feeling dizzy or have other side effects. It's also recommended to avoid driving or operating heavy machinery until you've discussed your condition with your healthcare provider. A common question about Yaskarta is its long term effects. Given that it's a relatively new treatment, long-term effects are still being studied. It's always best to consult with your healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this treatment. That concludes our overview of Yaskarta. Remember, this information is for educational purposes and should never replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for joining us.